The first historical record of sumo can be found in the Chronicles of Japan, written in 720 AD. Here, we learn that sumo was originally practiced as a religion, performed as a Shinto ritual to procure a good harvest. The civil war that took hold of Japan from 1185 to 1334 provided the impetus to develop sumo into a form of basic military training. The lifestyle of the sumo wrestler in modern-day Japan still reflects these ancient religious, martial, and cultural practices. In 1992, at the age of 18, Daver Batbayar ventured from his homeland of Mongolia to discover a new world. He moved to Japan. His new life and identity were rooted in sumo, a world that would transform him from a shy, awkward kid into a powerful, dominant warrior. He was given the fighting name Kyoko Shusan and was soon thrilling fans with his exciting, unorthodox, and effective form of sumo. His success also planted the dream in young boys back home of entering sumo, and in his homeland where sumo tournaments are broadcast live, all eyes are on the performance of Kyoko Shusan, nicknamed the Technique Department Store Mongolian Branch. Kyoko Shusan, also known as Shu, has brought a new dimension to sumo. At 5 foot 11 and weighing in at 290 pounds, Shu is a relatively small, agile fighter who makes up for lack of size with guile and speed. His journey to the top has been a combination of natural talent, extremely hard work, and sacrifice. Apart from the six main tournaments and the various other tours held annually in Japan, the Sumo Association, in its bid to internationalize its competition, takes its best warriors abroad every few years. In 1998, during a tournament in Vancouver, British Columbia, Shu, seen here in green, distinguished himself from the other Rikishi with his creative sumo techniques and personality making him a crowd favorite with the Canadian fans. The sumo bout is lost when any part of the body touches the outside of the ring. <laughs> Enjoy your six-pack before the comes I guess. <laughs> okay? Yeah. Nice. No, Beautiful. Wow. In 1992, with the collapse of the Soviet Union, Mongolia's financial backbone was broken overnight. With this change came extreme hardship, poverty, and readjustment for the Mongolian people. At the same time, it offered new opportunities, including the freedom to travel abroad. It was on the cusp of this change that a sumo elder came to Mongolia to recruit 17 and 18 year old boys for sumo in Japan. When the news spread, approximately 300 kids came from around the country to Mongolia's capital, Ulaanbaatar, to compete for the six positions which were being offered. モンゴル
そしてあこれだったらもし強くなったら人気出るなと思ってまあ親方がねあのモングリって、えー、たまたまお母さんが来場朝のラジオを聞いたら、えー、相撲を取りなりたいとかあの17歳から18歳の子供たちだったらあの来てくださいって初めて6人が相撲取りあの一緒にあのもう一回日本行ってね相撲やってるやるがとなったんだよね。Every individual will begin and finish his career in the same stable. There are 105 stables which are controlled by sumo elders who have had impressive fighting careers. The stable masters control every aspect of sumo and every waking minute of a rikishi's life. This hierarchical structure closely resembles that which existed between the samurai and their masters during the feudal era of Japan. Despite Mr. Oshima's small stature, he was a remarkable combatant in his day. And holds an elevated position in the Sumo Association Union. The Rikishi have often been referred to as male geisha because they study various arts, including song and calligraphy, and their role in the stables is not only to do combat but also to court sponsors and supporters. Stables with strong and charismatic Rikishi tend to be wealthier and more successful than others. 小学校中学校その時に先生がね、まあ、先生が教えたのはこうもう日本はすごい国だって空気汚いからみんなもこうマスクねマスクをかぶって歩いてるとかちゃもげついてる忍者とかねいっぱいあちこちにこう旗に持ってこうさして歩いてるとかそういう話ばっかりこう勉強してたんでこうバッて見たらなんか全然違う雰囲気で。した海見た時に初めてびっくりしました。はあって初めてやっぱり海初めてだから、これすごいなと思って。うん、海がとりあえず海も本当にびっくりしました。うん、東京着いたらうちの岡本さんが、えー、迎えに来てくれたんで,で、すごくなんか日本語でば早口でもう何言ってるかわからなかったんでね。その時に初めてちょんまげお相撲さんが迎えに来てくれたんで、その人をこう見て怖かったんですよ。すっごい体が大きくてもうすごい背高い人を迎えに来てくれたんでもうびっくりしちゃって。Upon entering a stable, a new recruit, sometimes as young as 15, is assigned to be the Tsukebito of a senior Rikishi. The Tsukebito performs household duties such as cleaning and cooking. He wakes up first, eats and bathes last, and is generally at the beck and call of his mentor. In return, his teacher and guardian will give him a small allowance and assist him in rising up in the ranks and in learning the ways of sumo. Shu has said that he gained confidence before coming to Japan from watching videos of smaller fighters like Kyoko Dozan beating much bigger opponents. When Shu arrived as a young apprentice, Kyoko Dozan was already a star in the Oshima stable and chose Shu as his Tsuke Bito. Shu's talent and hard work, complemented by Kyoko Dozan's gift for teaching, led Shu to the first division in an impressive four years. A bout can also be lost if any part of the body besides the soles of the feet touches the ring. Four years after mentoring Shu in the Oshima stable, Kyoku Dozan retired from sumo to enter politics. Our father was a father, and my father was a father. Our father was a father. 
向こうにしてみれば確かに新天地に来てますけどこっちは若い衆の一人ですからそれはたまたまモンゴルの人だったっていうだけで最初からもう知ってますからでずっと自分がまあ言い方書いたらずっと稽古つけてた人間ですからで自分を辞めるまでずっと稽古つけてましたからもう性格から行動から何か全部知ってますだから付け人時代っていうのはもう右も左も分かんないからただもう走り回るただ見て覚えるでこっちは一生懸命教えるっていうどんな子たちが来るのかすごい心配だしたんですけど会った時は本当に日本人と変わらなかったんで外見は安心したんだけどまず言葉が通じないそれで若い衆とのコミュニケーションが取れないだからそれでやっぱりお部屋の若い衆とあの子たちの仲がうまくいかないからまず日本語から。お金のお相撲さんと話したのがやっぱり小西君次初めて話したんですよ。で小西君次にこう呼ばれて「おいモンゴル」とこう呼ばれて「名前なんていうの、えー、局所さんです」って「言葉分かりますか?」って「もう本当分からない」って言ったんで、えー、まあ言葉を覚えるためにはやっぱり自分も外国人だったんで「歌歌ね歌歌って。カラオケで楽しくこう覚えてそれで言葉を覚えていくんだよって言われたんですよ。The primary objective is to become a seiki tori, which is a long and difficult task. Only approximately 70 of the 800 riki shi who are in sumo at any given time hold the rank of seiki tori. Except for college stars with exceptional records, all r i k i s h i will start their careers in the sixth division, which is called the gate to the beginning. In order to move up in rank, r i k i s h i must consistently win at the 15 day tournaments held every two months. When training, the Seiki Tori is distinguished by his white belt. It's said that the difference between the top of the third division and the bottom of the second division is like the difference between heaven and hell. The first division is further divided into five. The grand champion, or Yokozuna, sitting at the top. Upon arrival in the second division, one is considered a professional, and his life changes significantly. Those who are able to make the jump to the first division are considered gods within their stable. The status of Seiki Tori, once attained, is a triumph marked by many blessings. He becomes a symbol of pride for his stable, as evidenced by a banner printed with his name and flown outside the stable and at all major sumo events that he attends. Moreover, his hairstyle is distinguished from those in the lower ranks. He displays the colorful apron which is used for the ring entering ceremony. He becomes a celebrity, recognized on the streets of Japan, appearing on television, and accepting invitations to public events and other gatherings. His sponsors buy him expensive kimonos. He's allowed to get married, and if he does so, is permitted to move out of the stable. He receives a salary, and not a bad one. Instead of serving others, he's now the one being served. He's allowed to make signed handprints, which can be given away to favored sponsors or used to raise funds. He can throw purification salt during bouts. And among other privileges in the stable, he gets his own room and is permitted to sleep in later than the others. The flip side of becoming a Seiki Tori is that you're only a string of bad tournaments away from losing everything and returning to the life of servitude you once lived. もう人間関係はやっぱり部屋ですからそういう団体の本当に生活ですから団体っていう感じですけど日本人でさえね力士になるっていうのはどれだけ辛いかそして規定もありますからそこをまた大変に登っていくのにそれも外国の方が来てその日本の文化それもきついと言われる文化でやるっていうのは食の面でもそして敷体の面でも統制の面でも。そういう意味ではもう、うん、よくついてこれたかなって。朝起きると不思議なんですね。いつも朝起きるとこうい,いつも家でこうやって普通の通り起きて学校行ったりとかしたんで
こうやって起きたらもう周りすっごいでかい人ばっかりかあーあーって寝てんじゃないですかあれと思って一回もやっぱり1年ぐらいちょっとな,れなかなか寝れないねちょっと不思議感じあったんですねはいうんなんでって感じではっって感じです<笑>もうしょうがないって感じですよ<笑>本当怖かったですようんこれからまた一日長いなって感じですねやっぱり稽古場はもう一対一ですみんな一匹ですからだから一匹競技ですから怪我するのも一匹、ね、で良くなるのも一匹ですからこういう叩くものっていうのはスポーツを超える部分あるじゃないですか格闘技って言われる部分だからはっきり言って暴力的な部分って少しあるかあるじゃないですかこれ手術だがあちこちやってます首ひびかしてます鼻折ってる歯折ってるもうこれ6本折れてますでもそこでやって怖いと思った時に大芝居ですミシミシミシって言ってポキッと折ってもこの野郎って入れる世界ですとても、ワンマスクゲインウェイト、ウェイトは、ウェポン、アンディアブルサイズのアップルディビジョンズは、オーバー330パウンズ。The staple diet is a stew, which is a mixture of vegetables, meat, and fish in a soup stock. Although most have body fat of less than 20%, there are some who are grossly obese. When recruiting, stable masters often pass over those who are already fat. As they are usually less athletic than the others. Before the Second World War, Diki Shi were thinner than they are today and healthier than the average citizen. At that time, many poor boys from outlying fishing and farming villages entered sumo to put food in their stomachs and lessen the burden on their families. だから人間の体っていうのは要は防衛本能働きますからじゃなくてその防衛本能を取られた時の人間の状態っていうのはもうボクシングでも減量きついですけど食べれないものを食べるというのはもっときついですよモンゴルの子っていうのは魚食べないですよ野菜もあんまり食べないというか偏った食生活モンゴルの子っていうのは肉しか食べれないんですねそれをうまくこうお肉のおいしいの食べさせて魚を食べたらお肉を食べさせるとかねお金もみんなあまり持ってないし検証検証かけるわけこれを食べてこっちも食べて全部きれいに食べたらいくらとか検証かけるという何て言うんですかうまくね厳しさの中にもそういうユーモアあった育て方っていうかだからみんなすごいいい体になったんですよまだね僕はもうそうだけど、まあ、ちょっと怒ると怒ったりすると笑えないあの日本それでいろいろ怒られたりしてたね本当こう嫌でもちくしょっと思っても顔ねと笑わないといけないんです日本は。僕それできなかったモンゴルはね遊牧民はえー、っと例えば明日何時何分会いましょうってそれない明日朝が昼か夜どっちか<笑>例えば友達に明日じゃあ昼会いましょうって多分11時から2時の間分からない適当に。日本はやっぱりそれは例えば明日1時30分で言ったら1時30分の前で来ないとダメなんですよ
今から何をするか教えていただきたいんですけどもだからあの別に普通の可愛げで普,普通にあのなんていうの若い人を今日寝坊したから、ええ、ちょっとあのもう今度寝坊しちゃダメだよってこうきつい敬語あねはい最初門限守らなかったんですよ僕の誕生日誕生日があってみんなで隣近く,近くのところであのビール飲んだんですビール17歳8歳だからビール飲んで帰ってきたらあの9時過ぎてました9時までね部屋にいないとダメだから9時ちょっと過ぎてました怒られてみんなボコボコにされてねそれもそれは一応初めてそれがあってからあったからよかったと思いますね、うん、言葉覚えるんですよなかなかこうどう何,何で怒られたか分からないし、まあ、関取になる前に1年2年ぐらいでこれは大失敗したなと思ってこれはもう本当騙されたというかねこれは本当に考え通り違う、まあ、それで夜まあどんどん、まあ、大体毎日ぐらいもう泣いてたりとかして寝ちゃったんですねなんで止まってるこんなのなんで止まってるこんなそんなお仕置きっていうんじゃなくて俺たちの用語では可愛がりって言うんですよ<笑>だから愛情を持ってやり愛情っていうかこいつを強くさせたいこいつを更生させたいって思ってやりますかどうですか終わってあ終わってですか<笑>やっつかいましたけどさっきやっつかい強くなれるんだったらね早く適当になりたい100人入って半分以上ですね6割逃げますからだからそれ逃げた人たちがやられたイコール叩かれたイコールいじめっていう取られたらもうはっきり言ってそういうふうに取られますけどまあ限界を超えるスポーツですから人間頭で分かっても動けない部分なんですよでも動けない部分をどうやって動かすかっていうのはまあ原始的かもしれないですけどそういう方面のやり方もあるしうんあ夜6人で話して、まあ、これどうしてもね、うん、あの相撲取りになるのが大変だからもうやめようって、まあ、あの子たちに対してもう約束したことは全部やってたんですよ一生懸命頑張ればじゃあみんな映画連れてあげようとか海見たことないって言ったらじゃあ海連れてあげようとかでそういうことは全部私は私が彼たちと約束したことは全部やってきたその代わり3年間は絶対値を上げないで我慢してねって言ってたのに帰っちゃったっていうんでその親方が迎えに行った時にはやはり親方怖いっていうんで。やっぱり出てこなかったんですけど、私が行って話した時には、会いに来た、出てきたんですよね。岡本がこう泣いちゃったんですよ。うん、その悩みだ、見て、やっぱり、まあ。特に女の子ね、女の人、女性の人がこう泣くとか、なんかなかなか、こう自分、モンゴル人でもそうだけど。まあ、ちょっとやっぱり、自分でちょっと恥ずかしいなと思ったんですね。うちの大島部屋っていうことじゃなくて、モンゴル日本。だからこのままあの子たちが帰ってしまうと日本が変な国だと思われちゃうやっぱりもう,もう一回帰って、えー、一回チャンスあるんでまたやり直して一回やってみたいと思って福州山に牛村待ったなし発狂い Thank、you
りの草原を渡る風に乗せてどんな時にも元気で頑張れますように心から祈りを込めた歌をあなたに。In the end, three Mongolians remain Kyoku Shusa, Kyoku Tenho, and Kyoku Tenzan. Kyoku Tenho made it to the first division about a year after Shu. Kyoku Tenzan is a meager 225 pounds, and this could be why he's still laboring in the third division and having to serve his two Mongolian compatriots. As a group, the Hawaiians have had a large impact on sumo. And the most successful out of that group is Ake Bono, who entered at age 18. Adjusting to sumo life was excruciating, especially when 15 and 16 year old kids with more seniority were telling him to clean the toilets and perform other chores. In order to survive, Ake Bono said that he had to forget the first 18 years of his life and be born again. In 1993, less than five years after entering sumo, and in record time, Ake Bono became the first foreigner to be promoted to Yokozuna, or Grand Champion. Many traditionalists who see the Yokozuna as a descendant of gods took the promotion of a foreigner as an affront to the sacredness of sumo. They believed foreigners lacked the dignity and poise to carry this rank. Besides his heavy responsibility outside the ring, the Yokozuna is expected to dominate every tournament he enters. The Yokozuna cannot be demoted. He's expected to quit if his power is waning. Retirement from sumo is permanent. The final symbolic gesture of this is the hair cutting ceremony. Here we witness a historical event the retirement of Waka no Hana, who comes from a famous sumo family. After hundreds of paying guests have snipped off a few hairs, Wakanohana's closest friends and relatives will finish the job. This includes his superstar Yokosuna brother, Takanohana, whose life inside and outside the ring gets as much press as the Japanese royal family. And finally, his father seals his fate. The only sumo I knew was from、uh, TV. And basically, by watching on, on TV, all you see is just two big guys banging to each other. The one who moves forward was the winner. And、um, I, I, I thought, ah, sumo, easy. Until I first came here and I got my belt on the first day. And I realized how flexible, how fast, how good balance,、um, how mentally tough just to go through all that full contact practice every day. There was a lot of athletes that went away and couldn't adjust to the lifestyle of going from Hawaii to the mainland. It's hard in the beginning when you get here.、Uh, physically hard, mentally hard. My motivation was、um, not to shame my mom and dad, not to shame my stable master.、Um, I always had that in my mind. And I'm glad I stayed, stuck it out, took the beatings, took the, the pain. And that's why I can sit here today and talk to you folks like this. To me, I feel the Japanese should be very proud to have something this old and still in this good condition in the, the 21st century.、Um, I'm proud to be a sumo,、uh, a dixie, and I was, I'm proud that I had the chance to do what I, what, what I got to do. Up until now, when they said foreigners, they meant most, most of the time they meant guys from Hawaii. And if you just look at us, we're we twice the size of Kyoku Shuzan. So he brought a, a different perspective of foreigners into sumo.、Um, 
up until then, foreigners was just big, strong, powerful. But now they have people from Mongol that come that have a lot of technique and and um, for the, the fans who watch, uh, I guess it, uh, it's uh, very good for them. The bout is one of the many highly ritualized aspects of sumo. The rikishi meet in the center of the ring three or four times prior to fighting. This is part of the psychological battle before the bout. Between these stare downs, they return to their respective corners, where they collect salt to throw into the ring for purification. Finally, a referee commands the athletes to do battle. They synchronize their breathing and use eye contact to indicate that they're ready. Once they both plant their fists on the ground, they begin the attack. Although Shu has been able to stay in the first division since making it there in 1996, he has come perilously close to falling to the second division on more than one occasion. This disappoints his fans and people close to Shu, like Kyoku Dozen, who in 1997 saw Shu promoted into the elite ranks of the first division. <laughs> なんであいつが上がれたかっていうのはその目先の稽古じゃなくて一年三年五年の稽古やってましたよだから上に上がれたでしょって今頭打ちしてるのははっきり言ったら目先の稽古目先の稽古しかしてないから頭打ちしてる
とかあるんでファンクラブとかそういうのが付き合いとかいろいろあるんでまあ一緒にこう酒飲んだりとか一緒に食事したりとかそういうのが多いですようん、まあ、それはもう付き合いでもう文言前ですね時間あまり遅くなるのまた次に日結構大変なんでまあまあ、そういうのが結構あるあのソースモーさんはね、まあ、自分だけじゃなくて一緒にご飯食べてる人間は大島部屋の、えー、行司さんの木村玉次郎ですますあのこの人の仕事はあ行司さんは、えー、相撲あ英語で何ていうの相撲の,あの行司えメフアンポヨ手ついて待ったらし残ったカナダの皆さんよろしくお願いします。あの、顔を映したってこと<笑>あの。変な顔してるけど、心はいいと。お相撲で、取る、お相撲を取る前に。検証を持って回られますんで。で、あれで。一袋、おいくら入ってるんですか。げ、原価は六万五千円なんです。相撲協会とか、そういういろんな経緯を。関取りには一つのあれで3万円だから10本出たら30万円いやでもその残り3万円は相撲をやめるときにもらえるときにだからいっぱい買ってもいいんだから相撲やめるときだから税金も丸くてもらえるからね As Japan's national sport Sumo receives some funding through the government. However, the majority of the money raised is private, and therefore it's critical for a stable to develop strong ties to communities across Japan. The Oshima Stable's success has been established through a history of developing powerful and popular Urikishi. One source of support for the Oshima Stable is on Takashima Island, which is close to Nagasaki. In southern Japan. Every year, just before the November tournament begins, the Oshima stable visits the island to spend time in the community and teach sumo to the local children. During these visits, the stable master also keeps his eyes open for new talent. <laughs> こう本当にあ関取って感覚でこう外国人外人だよとかモンゴル人だよってこうパスポートとかあのあの外海外行ったりするところそれ時にビザとかと取るんじゃないですかその時にあ俺だってモンゴル人だなっていうこううんやっぱりモンゴル人として歴史になったけどやっぱり心はモンゴルでしょうね奥さんも日本人もらわなかったですから。Since reaching the first division, Shu is allowed to return home at least once a year. Whenever the Mongolians return home, it's a big event. The local press follow all their activities closely. And because of Shu's success, the Sumo Association consented to permit more Mongolians to enter Sumo. モンゴル帰ると落ち着くんですわ。心が落ち着く。大草原の上で、くわーっと寝て、寝て、こう、ゆっくりすると、風、ふわっと、これ、わかるんですよ。あの、あんな、涼しい、これは僕のふるさとの風だって。本当にこのモンゴルの草原は素晴らしい。自然。それと夜ね、星が綺麗モンゴルは。あと、ゴビ。ゴビ砂漠、ゴビの砂漠も素晴らしい。一番初めて3歳で馬乗ったから、馬大好きなんですよ。だからやっぱりモンゴル帰ると馬乗りたいなと思うんだな。今はね、馬かわいそう。重たいから。<笑>体重あまり変わらない、これ<笑>、うん。僕はまあ、モンゴル帰るときはやっぱり、不思議というか、今までモンゴルはウランバトルすごい大きいね人がいっぱいでもう素晴らしいところと思ってたのに日本来てだって帰って行こうが降りてパッと見るとあれって
Onu da çiçek verir canım. Kustosu. Onu da desi ya. Mugaşı var. Bu mongur tüyü pari... Sobara şey... Konu konu var pari... Ma Çingiz Khan mu... Mojiru mongur çin. Sıgoy iyi konu da atı. Umemaşı ne? Bu Nihon ki teka sumo atı... Sıkturu ne atı. Koro... İroru no... Televi doğa iroru müde... Yapari moçtu mongur ne? Mottum yapari... Hatten işte... Ma... Nihon doğa, Amerika doğa... Narattı ne? İyi konu... Narnak çekene ne atı. Ko... Osaka, Nagoya, and Fukuoka are the host cities for three of the six main tournaments which are held outside of Tokyo. The tournament in Fukuoka is held every November. Because of Shu's good showing in the previous tournament, his ranking is quite high, and therefore he will be facing many who are ranked in the top half of the first division. それから、風呂入ってね。ご飯食べて、で、ちょっと休んで。それから頭。包丁して。で、本場所行って。相撲取って。勝って。帰ってきます。Chu is easily identified by his blue belt and white sock. After winning his first bout, Chu loses the next three, and things are not getting any better as today he's facing the Japanese Yokosuna and crowd favorite. Takanohana. Chu's wife, child, and father have come down from Tokyo to watch the tournament.
that was day 12, and Shu's fourth and last win. He will end up with 11 losses, and his ranking plummets. It's day 14, and Ake Bono at 13 and 1, needs to win his last two bouts in order to guarantee himself the Emperor's Cup. Today, he's facing his strongest opposition in fellow Yokozuna, Takanohara. It's the final day, and Ake Bono, 13 and 1, can avoid a tiebreaker and win the Emperor's Cup with a win over fellow Hawaiian Yokozuna Musa Shimaru. It's all power and size, as the two Yokozunas, together weighing over a thousand pounds, prepare to do battle. Akebono wins the Emperor's Cup, but this will be his last bout as he retires after this tournament. まあ、未来週明けてそして的には、まあ、大関になっても素質は持ってますけど、うん。Thank you. 